Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm G and G and this is episode 74 of the Universal Challenge. And today we'll be taking on Dundalk at home in the first game before we take on title rivals Derry for the first time this season at home as well. So back to back home games as we try to continue what has been a great start to the season. If we catch up on the games played since the last episode, we started off with a Leinster Senior Cup game uh, against St Pats. Uh, we played more or less a second team in this game and it went to extra time. It was nil nil after 90 minutes, then Tommy Lonigan scored a penalty on the 102 minute mark. Sam Todd, with a rare start, scored for us to put us 2-0 up. They got a goal back, but we held on for a 2-1 win in the Leinster Senior Cup. And we've been drawn in the next round of that, in the semi-final of that, against Bray Wanderers from the First Division. So a real chance that we'll get to the final of the Leinster Senior Cup for the third year running. Then it was league action when we took on Longford. And again, we rotated the team slightly because of a game a couple of days later. And Matthew Kyo got a start up front. He managed to score for us a second goal. Uh, Nico Jones got the first goal from a corner, a standard goal from a corner. Then it was Nico, or then it was uh, Matt Kyo made us 2 0. And then Malonga in the second half gave us a 3 0 win and a pretty comfortable win for us. And we got to rotate the team, which was great. Ahead of a game against St. Pat's, which was just a couple of days later. And this was a brilliant performance from us. Again, we scored a couple of early goals through Dimitri and Conor McLennan, 2 0 up after six minutes. Then Reese Evans scored to make it 3-0 and then in the second half Lamb scored to make it 4-0 and a 4-0 away win against Pats is nothing to be looked down on because they're going to be in the title hunt eventually so that was an important win for us. Then we went to Sligo Rovers and a 2-1 win here. Another great performance and again early goals. Reese Evans scoring inside the first minute then Ryan Trebert made it 2-0 uh, just on the half hour mark. They pulled the goal back with 20 minutes ago, but we held on to take a 2-1 win against Sligo Rovers and continued our great start to the season. And then we took on Shelburne in what was a bit of a crazy game. So let's look at the goals from that game. Again, uh, we started really strong in this game and managed to uh, score early here. Kia Murphy crossing for Casey McAteer to score. He put us 1-0 up. We played a slightly rotated team in this game and all seemed to be going well until this moment where Ryan Trevor gave the ball away just outside our box and Shelburne cut through and slotted home past Kanate in goals to make it 1-1 at half time. Disappointed to throw away that lead. The second half though started to play well and then just after the hour mark Frizai who came off the bench crossed here for Tommy Lonigan to head home and that put us 2-1 up uh, on 63 minutes. Sadly Frizai gave away a penalty in injury time which Shelburne slotted home past Kanate. That made it 2-2, looked like we were going to drop our first points of the season, but amazingly, uh, five minutes into injury time, Casey McAteer slotted home his second goal of the game to give us a, a late, late winner and a 3-2 win at, Shel at home to Shelburne and continued our winning run at the start of the season, which <laughs> fantastic to see. We then went to Galway a few days later. Again, we slightly changed up the team. This is all because of uh, the fixture congestion at the early start of the season. And we wanted to try and keep the players fresh. So Tommy Lonigan got the start in this game and managed to score four goals for us. Scored after a minute, scored after four minutes and then had his hat-trick wrapped up in 17 minutes of the first half. Galway pulled one back. Uh, but then later on, Tommy Lonigan got his fourth goal of the game. And that gave us a 4-1 win away at Galway. And then, sadly, our first dropped points of the season came away at Watford. A 0-0 draw where... Uh, we didn't play well at all really, uh, we had lots of chances which we didn't take and we looked like very open at the back. Uh, Watford unlucky not to score and we were lucky to get away with a 0 nil draw in the end. So that was our first dropped points of the season and that leaves us after 10 games played top of the table with 28 points, 9 wins, 1 draw. We are 5 points ahead of Derry with the same games played, 8 points ahead of St Pat's with a game in hand. So really strong start to the season. And let's hope we can continue that today and we can continue it with our first game, which is against the dog. And let's get to the lineup for that game. So here we are with the lineup for this game against the dog and a couple of changes to what was our regular 11. Uh, Cameron Ledwich has been out injured for the last number of games. So Will Andy Yappen has come in at left back and played really well. So he continues there. And Gabriel Barras, Barras has uh, played really well in the defensive midfielder role. So he's taking that position from Sloggett at the moment. So that's the two changes really to the starting lineup. So starting lineup in full is Pickernell and goals, 
a back four of Nielsen, Lamb, Jones and Andy Appen. Uh, Barres, Trevor and Dimitru are the midfield three. Frizai on the left, Conor McLennan on the right and Reese Evans up front. So we beat Dundalk in the first game of the league season 6-2. I don't expect it to be as easy today. So let's get to kick off. So on the way here at the UCB Bowl for this game against Dundalk. As I said we beat them 6-2 earlier in the season. But I expect they have improved a lot since then. And this will be much tougher for us. Hope we continue uh, the form we've been in. Just that draw against Watford in the last game. Uh, our only drop points of the season so far. And here we have an early highlight. And the app and down to freeze eye. We scored a lot of early goals this season. Is this another? No. Cleared by Dundalk. But Barres will uh, pick up the ball here. Jones back out to Andy Appen. Who will take on his man. He gets to the edge of the box. He's going to get a cross in. And he gets to the byline. Can he get a cross in? No. He has a cut back. Gets a cross in. Down to the far post. It's headed by Dimitri. I think. No. It's McLennan. And he heads it just over. Good play by Andy Appen. At left back. He's been really good at the start of this season. Five minutes gone here. It's still nil nil. Free kick for he us here. Barres to take it to the far post. McLennan heads it over again. And that is disappointing. Good chance created there. But McLennan heading over. Half an hour gone here. Nil nil. We've dominated possession. But not created a lot. We are in control of the game. But have yet to make the breakthrough. 32 minutes gone. It's nil nil. Another free kick here. Barres to take it again. He aims for the far post. Lam is there. He heads just over. Hits the crossbar on the way out. Another chance created from a set piece that we don't take. Uh, we've had a bit of an injury blow. Will Andy Appan has gone off injured, which means that Greg Lee is on at left back. And with five minutes left of the first half, it's still nil nil. Half time here at the UCD Bowl. We've dominated that first half, but not made the breakthrough. Uh, good chances created, mostly from set pieces, but we haven't really uh, done enough. We've completely dominated possession. We've nearly 80% possession in that first half. So really dominating the game. Just need to make the breakthrough in the second half. And also hope that that injury to Andy Appen is not too bad look yeah, he'd probably be out of the Derry game as we only have three days before so let's get to the second half second half on the way here and hopefully we can make that breakthrough as I said we've completely dominated possession but just not created that big chance a couple of uh, chances from set pieces but they weren't clear cut by any means but hopefully we can do better in this second half and hopefully we can come up with that winner we need uh, we'll be disappointed to drop points in back-to-back -back games Going into the Derry game, but here we have a highlight with Casper Nielsen taking a free kick. He picks out Conor McLennan and he will look to take on his man, but he goes back to Nielsen. He goes across field to Nico Jones, out to Greg Lee, who's now in at left back. Ball over the top of Freeze Eye, he's through here. Justin Freeze Eye, brilliant finish from the winger. And that is a really important goal to finally make that breakthrough. Great ball over the top from Greg Lee and Freeze Eye took it down, lovely. Nielsen here picking out Jones in the centre of midfield, straight on to Greg Lee. Ball over the top for Justin Freeze. I took it down lovely and slotted it past the Dundalk keeper. And we finally made the breakthrough here in this game. 48 minutes gone. We are 1 0 up. Dundalk with a free kick here on the halfway line. They pump it into the box. We half headed clear, but they pick it up. And now they recycle it back to the free kick taker who's now in an acres of space. Oh, this is far too easy. He crosses. And it is saved by Pickernell, and they pick up the rebound. It's crossed again. Another cross in. Hoban, can we get a clear? Eventually we do. Greg Lee just boots it into the stand. Exactly what was needed there. Bit of a get away. Good save from Pickernell, but we've got away with it. But here is the throw in right away. And Dundalk looking to build the attack again. Here's Adams. Oh, it's deflected. Hits the post. Oh, we've got away with one. Jones uh, blocked the cross, but it went and hit the post. And then with an open goal, it would have been a tap-in if a Dundalk player reacted. We've got away with it again there. And with 55 minutes gone, it is 1-0 to us as another highlight starts. Here's Ryan Trevitt heading it down to Casper Nielsen. Dimitri gets torn, plays through Conor McLennan. McLennan's through here. Can he finish? Oh, straight at the keeper. That was a bad, bad finish from McLennan. And it stays 1-0. Another highlight. Barres to Freezeye. Back to Greg Lee. Jones. More exciting second half here with a lot more highlights. Lee, Jones, Barres. Good passing around. Can we draw the dog forward? Here's Reese Evans. Great pass back to Dimitri. McLennan's through again. This time, no mistake. Conor McLennan finishes that brilliantly. And we are 2 0 up. And that was a lovely bit of team play there. And a nice little uh, cameo in that goal from Reese Evans up front. It came from Greg Lee here. Or it's actually Jones. Ball forward. Evans with the volley pass back to Dimitri. Who plays through McLennan. And this time, he manages to slot it home past the keeper. 56 minutes gone here. We're 2 0 up. Barres with another free kick here. He's going to aim for the far post again. Lamb is there. Dimitri. Dimitri heads it over. Disappointing not to get that on target again. 
We look dangerous from set pieces, but with 59 minutes gone, we're 2 0 up. Corner kick for us here, Barres to take it. Aims at the near post towards Lamb, and he heads it straight at the Dundalk keeper on target this time, but their keeper pulls off a good save, and now he's going to probably boot this long as all their players are pushing up, and he does. And that will fall straight to Greg Lee, who takes it down, and he controls it and gets players back. And here's Casey McAteer, who's on off the bench, and he's true. Can he cross it? He can. And <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's a strange goal. <laughs> uh, Casey McAteer's cross was blocked, but he ran on and then headed home. <laughs> that is a strange goal. Here, ball over the top. Casey McAteer gets through. He tries to pick out Reese Evans. His cross is blocked, but he then runs onto it and heads it home. Great goal for Casey McAteer. And that puts us 3 0 up here with 12 minutes remaining. Evans on the ball here and loses possession. Uh, we are into four minutes of injury time here. Another win for us to start the season. And that is another good win over Dundalk too. Struggled for a long time until we made that breakthrough. And thankfully we've then dominated the game. But here come Dundalk. Are they going to get a consolation goal? No. Fired over. And Pickernell's clean sheet stays intact for now. We're into four minutes off injury time. As I said, going to be another important win for us. This will be our 10th win of the season. Uh, we've played 11 games, 10 wins. That's a great start to this season for us. I think shows the quality now we have in this squad. We've been able to rotate a lot early in the season and we have been able to win games when we've changed the team up and we've won this game here today. A 3-0 win for us against Dundalk and as we look at the league table, Derry won their game quite easily 4-1. So going into the Derry game, we are uh, five points ahead of them with the same number of games played. So we're in a really good position in the league. So that's Dundalk beaten here at the UCD Bowl. Let's get to the game here three days later against Derry. So here we are on the day of our home game against Derry, our first meeting with them off the season and we've had to make a couple of changes due to injuries. First of all Andy Yappen is out for three to six weeks with a hamstring injury so Cameron Ledwich comes back in at left back. He's only fit enough for 45 minutes so I've decided to start him and if necessary we'll bring Greg Lee on at half time. The other injury is that Dimitri picked up an injury uh, in training so he doesn't uh, make the squad as he's just not fit enough so we've dropped Farizai into centre midfield Casey McAteer comes in on the left wing so the team in full is Pickernell and goals back four of Nielsen, Lamb, Jones and Ledwich midfield three are Barres, Trevor and Farizai McLennan and McAteer on the wings and Reese Evans up front so a big test for us now after a great start of the season playing our title rivals Derry let's get to kick off on the way here at the UCD Bowl in this meeting of probably the two teams going for the title this season and it would be a huge advantage to us if we were to win here and stretch that lead up to 8 points already this early in the season. Uh, we, we started this season strongly, Derry have dropped points in games so this will be a huge chance to grow that lead uh, back to them in second place. So 5 minutes gone here, it's nil nil. Into injury time here at the end of what has been a forgettable first half. We haven't had a highlight in that 45 minutes. Neither team playing well. Uh, Derry with slightly more possession. Neither team have had a shot on target. And both teams with terrible XGs. So yeah, that's a first half that both teams will want to forget. Hopefully we can improve our performance in the second half. And strike a blow in this title race against Derry. Back on the way here at the UCD Bowl. Hopefully an improved second half. And hopefully at least at least one highlight would make it a better second half. Um, been a very poor performance from both teams. I think a KG from both knowing how important this is in the title race this early in the season. And hopefully we can improve our performance and get that goal to put us ahead. Five minutes gone here of the second half. It's still nil nil. First highlight of the game at last comes on the hour mark here with Derry with a throw in in towards the box. Pickernell comes, punches it clear, but Derry win the ball back then. And here comes a shot from long range and it goes well over the bar. And is that the end of that highlight? <laughs> it is. <laughs> that tells you how good this game has been. Um, we've made a couple of substitutions. Greg Lee on for Cameron Ledwich. Greg Sluggish has come on for Casey McAteer with Justin Frizai going back onto the left wing. So 64 minutes gone here, still nil nil in a very bad game. Derry with the ball here and they play it long but they don't have anyone up there so Greg Lee will take possession here. Can he pick out someone now? He does. Nico Jones into Trevor, over to Lamb, passing the ball around. 67 minutes gone here. Can we create a chance? This only the second highlight of the game. It's been a really poor game by both teams. Sluggett on the ball. Barres, he's moved forward in midfield. Here's Frizai back on the left wing. 
Can he play the ball? Sure he can. Here's Reese Evans. Doesn't get it under control, but then gets the shot away. Oh, that was close. A lot closer than it looked, I think. A poor first touch cost him. It pushed him wide. And that really made the chance a lot tougher than it should have been. 68 minutes gone here. It's still nil nil. Lamb clearing a the ball there that Derry were trying to get through. And a bit of head tennis here, but Derry pick up possession. Here's Michael Duffy playing the ball through to Colin Whelan. Through one on one. Whelan. Picking out, pulls off a brilliant save. One on one with Colin Whelan. And we get away with that. And now we try and counter attack, but we give the ball away. And that is the end of the highlight. A huge moment there. Colin Whelan through one on one. But Pickernell pulls off the stop. And with seven minutes remaining, it stays nil nil. Full time whistle goes here at the UCD Bowl. And a disappointing nil nil draw. A really terrible game. Uh, both teams didn't play well. And I think both teams, though, won't be that disappointed with a nil nil draw. It keeps the gap back to Derry as it was. And for them, it doesn't it means we don't pull away uh, even more. So a nil nil draw with our first meeting against Derry. Bit disappointing with the performance, but uh, some positives to take. So, a disappointing first meeting of the season with Derry in terms of the quality of the game. Not the worst result though, and as you can see, it leaves us still top the table after 12 games. 5 points clear of Derry. Uh, those two nil-nil draws against Derry and Watford, the only points we have dropped so far this season. So, in a really strong position, 32 points in the bag already after 12 games. Really is a great start to the season. And we will be coming up against Derry again in the next episode. Uh, hopefully a better game. Uh, just two games later. Uh, we have one game against Shelburne in between another meeting with Derry. This time away from home. And we will be pairing that game up with a home game against St. Pat's. Uh, who are the other team. Uh, sort of in the title race. They're a long way back at the moment. So in the next episode we will be doing uh, Derry again. This time away from home. And St. Pat's at home. Uh, before I wrap up the episode, I just want to sh give a shout out to Foot Like Attraction Engine, who has made the brilliant thumbnails for the last few episodes uh, a real improvement on the work I've been doing, and they look uh, brilliant. I just want to thank him for that, and I would urge everyone to follow him on Twitter at Traction FM, and uh, you'll see more of his great thumbnail work as well as a link to his blog about his save in the Danish league which is a brilliant read and I'd urge everyone to check that out. So uh, if you liked today's video, uh, please drop it a like. Uh, it really helped me and really helped the videos to be seen more. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow this university challenge with uh, UCD and how we are getting on here in season six. You won't miss any videos if you subscribe. They are posted uh, Monday to Friday, 6 p.m. Irish time. And if there is anything you want to catch up on, there is a playlist on the channel and it does appear on the screen at the end of this video. So until the next video, uh, when we will be taking on Derry again and St. Pat's, please take it easy.